Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Economy booms after business tax cut. Proves lips dead wrong. New Hampshire's economy is humming along and fiscal conditions are better than they have been for years. In large part that's thanks to business profits tax cuts and a cautious, one-off distribution of surpluses on the part of Gov. Chris Sununu and state legislators to address local challenges, according to tax and public policy experts. Then Gov. Maggie Hassan and supporters in the New Hampshire legislature led a successful initiative to implement a multi-year program of gradual business profits tax reductions from 2016 through 2022. The first went into effect January 1, 2016. Successive rounds are to be triggered biennially only if tax revenues reach or exceed minimum levels set out in the legislation. Those minimums have not only been reached, but exceeded. New Hampshire has been running substantial budget surpluses for three consecutive fiscal years. That has left the Granite State in an enviable position when compared to neighboring and many other U.S. states, said Greg Moore, Americans for Prosperity's state director for New Hampshire. State legislators were very conservative in their revenue forecasts, Moore told Watchdog.org. Revenues have been higher than expected so the state has been able to take care of other priorities outside the budget. New Hampshire is very different from other states in that our business profits tax, effectively our corporate income tax, is levied on income earned by LLCs, partnerships, and S corporations. That distinguishes New Hampshire, from all other US states, Scott Moody, CEO of public policy think tank The Granite Institute, told Watchdog.org. We're the only state that does that, essentially because we don't have a personal income tax. The income distributed by New Hampshire LLCs, S corporations and partnerships is taxed indirectly via personal income taxes. It's especially important for us to cut those rates, and that's what we're doing, Moody said. Doing so takes on even greater importance in light of the fact that neighboring states, such as Maine and Massachusetts, have been reducing corporate and business tax rates, he added. We have had a relatively high business tax environment as compared to neighboring states, and a lot of them have been reducing business taxes. The regulatory environment is becoming more competitive, so we need these business profits tax reductions to maintain what's known as the New Hampshire Advantage Tax.